welcome those new subscribers i hope you guys are having a blessed and beautiful day today and remember god first in everything that you do i'm a literally mean put god first guys because without him we're not similar tv they bomb me mine can't complain experience divine real king to the true and no little boy thing yeah nah boss no man cause him have him one sitting ambitious man always have a plan cause him understand she's a real woman carry a real go get her go get it in any way that no baby go get the cheddar similar tv yeah similar 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 tv yeah you know um so this is just a short video like just to talk about um what we as a family are going through right now when you're already from doing about the situation but you know i'm just gonna um tell you guys like my side of the story and thing and what i'm going through at this moment here so yes my daughter um passed off and yes as Duane said she's not my biological daughter but she's been in my life since she was one month old and she's now 21 and this is one of the hardest thing that I ever have to go through it's like replaying back again when her dad died when i got that news that her father died it just bring me back to that same space all over again and believe me i'm gonna wish this one my worst enemy because this is um, not something that was expected. She wasn't sick or anything like that. And it just happened just so sudden, you know? We didn't have any chance to say goodbye, nothing. It just licked me just so. And I'm trying hard, like, to cope just for the sake of my daughters, cause they are really not taking it too um, good, you know? And I really and truly, I can't even be strong for them. I'm trying, but it is not easy, you know? Because what hit me the most, she had a promising future. She was going to college she was working she did everything that was right to be successful that was our aim that was our goal and to see it just gone like that so oh god but just <clears throat> to just see that it just it just sweep away just like that from her like I'm saying like I don't wish this on my worst enemy like no parents should have to bury their child you know no parents shouldn't no yeah you know and in all of this though like it takes me back like to god you know because he's my strength i 
keep after reminding myself that when I'm weak, God is strong. And I have to keep repeating the joy of the Lord is my strength, you know? I know that it's gonna take me like years to get over this. You know what I'm saying? But really, no, it's not gonna happen tomorrow, you know? But as I say, I'm trying to call. I'm trying to, you know, not really get into a deep depression over this or anything like that. But as I said, it's life. So I just want to tell everybody, like, love people, you know, appreciate the people that are around you because you never know what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow is promised to no man, you know, and death is a respecter of no man, you know, just live life, live it to the fullest, live it with God, live it through God's eyes, you know, forget about the, the past, forgive, love, love your friends, love your family, anybody around you, just love, you know, live for God, guys. Live for God, so you know that when your time come and your pass, you know where you're going and things like that. And again, for um, all of the condolences, guys, like I'm really, really thankful for all of the condolences and you know, Yes, I'm really um, thankful for all the condolences that you guys have been sending. I haven't read all of them, you know, but I just want to say a big thank you. And it makes me feel happy within to know that you guys are mourning with us and that you guys actually care, you know. So I just want to say a big thank you again to you guys. And remember guys, live life, live life for God. Live life with your family, with your loved one. Appreciate them, tell them every day how much you love them. You know, cause as I said, tomorrow is not promised to anyone. You don't want to live with any regrets when your loved one pass off. So, Again, pick up on a nice clean self and just bear with us as we go through this journey. You know, we just want to do it privately and things like that. And yeah, we're not going to get videos because life goes on, but you know, we're in a whole lot of preparation for burial and all of these things here. But the videos will still be coming based on my mood, you know. Yeah, so thank you all again. Have a blessed day.